Hey everyone, thank you for tuning into the channel. We got the Verizon N77 home internet box. We got the T-Mobile trash can home internet. And we got a bunch of phones here. We also got a T the T-Mobile line here. Let's hear, let's turn this Wi-Fi off real quick. So the T-Mobile line, we're gonna be testing the ultra capacity and I think it should have it here. If I'm not mistaken, let's see here real quick. Always turns, tries to turn on the Wi-Fi. Well, it looks like there's no ultra capacity here for some odd reason, which is weird because usually there is ultra capacity here, but we'll see. We'll see when that time comes to speed test T-Mobile. We also got another phone that is, that is connected to the Verizon. Oh no, this one's connected to the T-Mobile home internet. Yes, T-Mobile home internet. Okay, so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna speed test here. This is, this is the TCL 30V 5G. So we're gonna test from the budget phone to the flagship phone. Then we're gonna deuce it up. And then we're gonna end up uh, doing all three at once with the home internet, seeing how it has a play in it. So we're looking at 12 pink, three jitter for Verizon on the TCL. Okay, we're looking at a 837 down. And look at those uploads, guys. Holy crap. This is what I'm talking about right here. Bye. 89 on the upload all right so let's test out here on the iphone 13 pro 13 ping 2.5 jitter eight sixty four down by 88 on the upload. Now let's test out the, the Verizon home internet box. Fourteen ping three jitter. K three thirty down. As you could see, it tries to peak, but I think they have it set to where it's like no more than like, let's say 350, but like, you know, I don't know on the upload, but 19.1 on the upload, which is about the same performance that I see from my house. Hold on, I gotta start the car guys, because the internet, the our power converter is glitching. It is saying that we are low power. Okay, so now I'm gonna speed test both the phones. So let me see here. Okay, so this is the priority on the phone. This is on the new get more plan. And this one is on the Los Red. The, the new get more 14 ping two jitter, the Los Red 13 ping 1.3 jitter. And let's see here, 441 down on the get more, the new get more 492 on Los Red and 69.3 on the upload on Los Red. The upload's already done. And to get more, because it was done faster, it sped up, so 86.5 on the upload. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can to hit go to make all three of these tests. Okay, so let's see here. I tried my best, guys. So all three of them are going at once. Home internet. Okay, so we got the home internet is at a 13 ping, 3.7 jitter. We got the get more at 12 ping, three jitter. We got Los Red on 13 ping, 1.6 jitter. And Los Red was the last one to start. So the home internet is at 326 by, let's see here. The upload's finishing up. 326 by 18.9. The new get more is on 12 ping three jitter, 381 by 71.4. And Lil' Tread is at 13 ping 1.6 jitter, 327 by 80 flat, which is good. Let me try to do it again. Let me see if I can do it faster. Oh man, see, got screwed up. Let's start again, let's start again, let's start again. Okay, so let's do everything from the beginning. 
All right, one, two, three. All right, so that's as fast as we can get it done. Okay, so let them all test and then we'll go from there. But as you can see right here on the video, let's put it on the ultra wide lens here a little bit. The speeds are really not that off. You, even the home internet's really not getting too bad of a, of a throttle. So let's go over these numbers here in a second. The test is about to finish right here. So low thread finish first at 13 ping, 2.2 jitter, 337 down by 62.8. Then you get more 12 ping, 2 jitter, 333 by 80 flat. And then we got the Verizon home internet at 15 ping, 2.1 jitter, 240 by 20. All right, so now let's, let's exercise some of these down and let's move on to the T-Mobile. We're gonna do the, mag the magenta. Let's see here, we can get the phone unlocked here. Let's get the speed test app here ready to go. All right, so now we're gonna get it on. So the magenta, this one's gonna be on T-Mobile One Business Military. So, and then of course, you know, we got the home internet, home internet's his own priority. So we're gonna test them separate. So let's see here, let's go with the home internet first. 20 ping, 7.4 jitter. Let's see here what she gets. Not looking too shabby, huh? 235 down. Let's see here. What are we going to get on the upload? We're looking at a 19.3 on the upload. Oh, and we got ultra capacity on the on the iPhone. So let's see here. 14 ping 7.9 jitter. Okay, so we're looking at 190 down on ultra capacity. With a 17.1 on the upload. All right, so let's do this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna speed test both of them at once. Let's see if I can do it here and hit go at the same time which I did there's only two phones okay there we go they're testing and let's see here the T-Mobile one line is getting more priority okay so we're looking at the T-Mobile one line is getting 13 ping 26 jitter 111 down by 15.1 on the upload. Timo Home Internet, 14 ping, 3.8 jitter, 109 by 22.5. All right, let's see if we can test this again simultaneously. One more time. Okay, there we go. We hit go at the same time. Oh, 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 sorry about that, guys. And we are here in the southwest area of Vegas. Over here, it's very, uh, it's a T-Mobile market more. You know, uh, a lot of Asians here love T-Mobile. So let's see here. We're uh, 13 ping, 11 jitter on T-Mobile One on ultra capacity. As you guys can see right there, the icon, it is on ultra capacity. So we're looking at 130 down by 19.3 on the upload. We got T-Mobile Home Internet at 19 ping, 6.1 jitter, 143 down, 23.9 on the upload. Well, guys, let's uh, go to another location. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're here at another C-band area here at a local park, at the corner of Buffalo and Cimarron. Let's see here. We're looking at a 14 ping 2 jitter. This is on the Get More plan, the new Get More on the TCL. So we're looking at about, let's see here.
474 down. We had a 72.1 on the upload. All right, let's test the Los Red. 13 ping three jitter. Well, it took a second there to pick it up, okay. Three oh five down. That was weird. Had a little hiccup there for a second. So what we're doing, guys, is we're testing the capacity with these with the home internet box versus the phones. Seventy five point one on the upload. Now let's test out the home internet box. So basically, you know, we're testing these towers to see how they handle a little bit of stress with the internet box too at the same time. Okay, 14 ping 2.6 jitter. And I'm gonna be putting another video out next. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna continue speed testing on the home internet's T-Mobile versus Verizon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep testing and testing and testing, and then put it through capacity. And then we're gonna do a temperature check. We're gonna see which one gets hot faster and who, which internet box maintains the temperature uh, better with their cooling and stuff. So we're looking at 14 ping 2.6 jitter, 326 by 20.5 on the internet box. All right, let me see if I can do this fast enough. Of course it did not start, so that's not fair. All right, so let's see here. Let me put that one on the home screen too. Let's see here. One, two, three. There we go, we got all three, all right. All right, so they all have started. Oh, the home internet's uh, not looking too shabby there. Oh, that is not looking too shabby there for the home internet box. This tower might be configured weird. Okay, so we're looking low red. 13 ping, 1.1 jitter, 316 by 55.2. Okay, uh, get more. 2022, get more. 241 by 63.7 with an 11 ping, 2 jitter. And then we're looking at Verizon Home Internet Box, 21 ping, 6.4 jitter, 106 down by 19.6 with a 0.36% packet loss. Let's test these again. One, two, and three. Uh, now we're looking better. Maybe it might have been a foul test. I don't know. Oh, now this one is good. What the heck? Okay, so this this tower side is uh, a little bit weird. Okay. And then we'll go through every single one and redo the results. And then after that, we'll go to T-Mobile and then we'll conclude this video for right now. So, home internet. 15 ping 5 jitter 166 down by 20 up not bad for 25 months still cheaper than cox okay and true unlimited data versus cox with 1.25 terabytes all right second get more 2022 plan 13 ping 6 jitter 338 down by 45.8 all right low thread 13 ping 72 jitter 212 down by 57.9 which is weird. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I might be too close to the tower site. I don't know, that could be a possibility. Let's check our RSRP values. That's probably it. Oh yeah, negative 75. Oh yeah, negative, yeah, we're way too close to the tower site. That's probably the reason why it's acting weird because you know, I got, one, I got one thing facing one way. I got this one facing here. I got this one facing here. They probably just not right. You know how it is, null sector. Ah, but whatever, you know, it is what it is. It's test, it's legit testing. You know how we do it. Spades a spade. All right, so here's T-Mobile. We got ultra capacity, these nuts. So we got these nuts on here. All right, so let's see here. Let's test this. So we're gonna do individually. We'll go first with the phone. 
T-Mobile One Magenta Bit, or no, T-Mobile One Military Business 12 ping 4.7 jitter. We are looking at two eighty five down. You know what's crazy is this is similar performance to N seventy seven, but T Mobile has one hundred megahertz up. So two eighty five down, fifty nine point one on the upload. Let's do home internet. Twenty three ping, forty four jitter. So the home internet, something they have it. It seems like they have it at the bottom of the barrel because the pings are horrible. I don't know. 98.5 down. Because we're connected to N41. You can tell by the apples too. So let's see here. So 98.5 down. 69.2 on the upload. What we're gonna do is here, let me connect it to the hotspot real quick and we will check the bad configuration on the home internet. So let's see here, home internet, advanced cellular matrix, there we go. Band two, what is our RS, what is our RSRP negative 84? So I mean tower sites nearby, just like Verizon. Okay. Oh, 5G matrix. Oh, N71. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So what I'm going to do is I will reset the home internet gateway and we'll be right back. Well, guys, we are back. The T-Mobile home internet does not want to connect to N41, but it is, uh, what is it, band two, band 71. We got it sticking out the window here, facing to the tower site. Let's see here if this gave it a little bit of an advantage. 22 ping, 2.9 jitter. And remember this is on N71 with band two. Unfortunately, we can't see what else it's aggregating with, but 22 ping, 2.9 jitter, 219 down. With 94.1 on the upload. Now let's, uh, let's sit here and test actual, the phone It's on ultra capacity. 13 ping, 3.9 jitter, which I don't get how the hell the phone's on ultra capacity, but the home internet is not when it's available. Maybe there's maybe something that they do with the home internet. Maybe it just, whatever the strongest signal is, the best of the best of the best. I don't know. 258 down with a 13 ping, 3.9 jitter. 258 down. And 65.4 on the up. Now let's do the stress test. Let's do both of them at once. Let's see what the heck happens, even though they're on different bands, but still, still off the same tower site. So it should still have an effect some way, somehow. Okay, so the test, let's see here. Let the test go, download speeds. Okay, so on the ultra capacity, 13 ping, 0.84 jitter, 276 down. Home internet, 24 ping, 2.8 jitter, 194 down. And what about the upload? And 72.6 on the upload, 62.9 on the upload for the regular phone line. Now, let's, let's do something a little bit different. Let's hook it back up to Wi-Fi and let's stress test it with two connections and let's see and i think we should do the same with the verizon one we'll see here so let it connect let it find a server there you go they're both on wi-fi oh damn okay that did not work let's see here one two three there we go they're both testing at the same time so let's see how she handles the stress test
K, let's see here. They're both connected to the T-Mobile home internet. Okay, so one phone is at 33 ping, 14 jitter, 95.4 down. Let's see here, the upload, it's about to finish. With an 11 upload with a 0.36% packet loss. The next phone is 36 ping, 11 jitter, 63.2 down, 25.1 on the upload with the 0.72% packet loss. So T-Mobile Home Internet, you put stress on it, it just starts getting lost. Figures. All right, so let's do the same with the Verizon Home Internet box. I got to scan the QR code real quick so I can log into it. So I'll be right back. Okay, we are back, guys. So I'm going to give it fair game. I'm going to put it out the window right there, just like I did with the T-Mobile one. We're going to play fair, and we're going to ping both phones. Okay, they're both on the same Verizon server, Verizon Wi-Fi. As you can see, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's see how the Verizon home internet box does with multiple simultaneous connections stressing it out yeah. oh man you gotta be shitting me Verizon's doing it way better oh man imagine if Moose saw this he would be like oh shit okay one phone is done 16 ping 4.4 jitter 162 down 9.93 on the up the other one is 15 ping 3.7 jitter Ooh, 230 down, 15.4 up with a 10% loss on one phone. Ooh, interesting. All right, let's try to test them again. Ooh, so they're not, do it's not doing that hot either. Hold on, that's, that's not fair. Hold on, let me close that. All right, it's not looking fair. All right, we finally got something that's in common. All right, there we go. They both started and they're both going. All right, all right, let's see. They're both over 100 in the down. Okay, let them fit, let them get close to finish and then we will uh, see what, we'll see the results. Okay, there's one phone done, another phone done. So we're looking at the first phone, 14 ping. 3.8 jitter, 118 down by 12.9 on the up. Second phone, 13 ping, 4 jitter, 185 down by 9.83 on the up. Both of them have no loss. So we'll do one more and we'll conclude this video. Let's see here. Seems like the Verizon home internet box does a little bit better. The first test was ass, but it seems that it can handle it better. The stress test, huh? Interesting. So let's see here, the, the uploads are almost done. Then we will go over the results. Okay, first phone done. 14 ping, 1 1.6 jitter, 162 down by 9.69 on the up, no loss. 15 ping 1.9 jitter, 222 down by 17.1 on the upload. 15 ping 1.9 jitter and a 3.2% packet loss. So it's like a hit or miss, guys. Yeah. So when you put them under a lot of stress, I guess, you know, this is what happens. But the Verizon Home Internet held the speeds a little bit better when it was under heavy load or at least a heavier load because, you know, a real load would be streaming and speed testing and downloading which we'll probably do on another video all right guys thank you for tuning into this video greatly appreciate y'all just wanted to do this a little bit stress test on the internet home internets boxes plus you know some speed testing with the phones on t-mobile and verizon on n77 versus n41 thank you and we will catch you in the next one peace Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure to no hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.